exactly what I wanted to say. I just wanted to protect her. What in the fuck is wrong with me? Cry. I'll probably never see her again. I'll take it back. I take it all back. Please, let me take it back. Well, the spirits are still there. You can, you can still go. It's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. We'll always be friends anyway. That's the gist of it. God damn it. Show yourself. Get out here, ghost girl. Please. I'm begging you. How could I be such an asshole? <laughs> uh, uh, a fucking... What is it? A, a background thing to what I said in the first episode. And he's like, I don't care about anyone else. I'm an asshole. So why don't you get the door? Well, it doesn't break my heart. Because you see, I'm an asshole. That's cold, man. No, it isn't. You've known me for years. You know that I'm an asshole. I don't. I don't want to lose them. Shinazaki, Satoshi, Miss Yui, everybody. Sorry, but please take me to. I was about to run from this. The, the, the way I always do. But when I first started hanging out with those losers, I felt like I was reborn. Somehow. So please, I'm scared of everything, but even she's giving this, this her best shot. And I'm not about to let her upstage me. Oh, so now it's just ego. I swear, we're going to wretch that repentance from Sachigo with our bare hands. And put that all to rest. In peace once and for all. Well, that's a nice sentiment, I think. Well, oh, I'm moving. Okay, alright. Let me just... Can I go in here? Japan's secret intelligence base is strictly forbidden. Expulsion to all trust. What? Alright, okay. Alright, cool. This is a different classroom. What the? I got a text? But I've had no service this entire time. Actually, I still have no service. How? Shinazaki, where are you? I'm here too! Let's meet up. Kishinuma, you came through after all! Let's see if he gets my reply. <laughs> Texting on my phone! <laughs> Message sent? Whoa! <laughs> this is great! I'm worried about you being all by yourself. I'm literally right outside the room. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I was, I was starting to feel kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> Come quickly and, and send! Oh my god. I do feel a little better now. Now that you have service? I knew it. Once Wi-Fi came back, the, the hope came back. Actually, that was probably the first time I've ever responded to a text message for Kishinuma. How did he get your number then? But he's not coming, is he? Maybe you should try texting him again? What are you doing? Where are you? Owen probably just realized it's supposed to have no service here, that's all. <laughs> But if he's in the school, I'm sure I'll run into him eventually. That's not a good mindset. That's a pretty terrible mindset. Let me actually scour the room because I've not been doing that. And it's been make and I've been missing out on goodies, I think. Maybe I should put on vests. This is upbeat music for something that's supposed to be terrifying right now. But alright, I'm gonna show Now then, Yuka. I'm going to kill you. Like it or not, it's going to happen. <laughs> Stay away from my sister! Quite an unexpected change from the doldrums of junior high, no? The realization that your existence will soon come to an end. Ha! <laughs> Can you believe it? He's such a William. When you woke up this morning, did you say to yourself, I'm gonna die today? People who die in traffic accidents don't ever know what's coming. They wake up, get out of bed, wash their faces, brush their teeth, take showers, change their clothes, and then they get hit by a car. And all the while, the thought that they're going to die that never even enters their mind. 
Well, take that. T take heart. This situation isn't all that different when you think about it. Death is not an unexpected occurrence. It's not random chance. Death is always lurking in the shadows every minute of every day. It's because people forget that. That death takes them by surprise. It's the very height of folly. However, therein lies the appeal. The appeal? What? You see, Yuka, I've witnessed a great many in my life. I've touched them, felt them. The final moments of life from a wide variety of living beings. Mostly animals, because I'm not a serial killer. And every one of them always struggled to live. Well, I am a serial killer now. Every one of them struggled to live till the bitter end and never giving up the fight. But I've watched those final sparks of life burn down to nothing. I've seen them go out. And it's in that, in that last desperate moment that the fire of one's life shines most beautifully. Humans, you see, have brains that allow them to consider various possibilities and communicate those possibilities with other humans. But they rarely ever use their brains to truly explore the concepts of life and death. They forgot ruminating on the on the on the meaning of life and the laws of the universe. He's high, clearly. Instead of opting to use their cognitive abilities for pointless wastes of time, they stop focusing their energy on giving some semblance of purpose to their pitiful existences, and simply indulge themselves in earthly pleasures. Some are even foolish enough to kill themselves. It's like everyone in this world is gibbering idiot. But you... You see, I'm fascinated by it. When a person becomes aware of his or her own demi impending deni demise, or better yet, is in the process of dying, what sort of fireworks will that last spark of life become? Quite simply, the answer to that is what I crave. Stop being weird. Kurosaki's death was absolutely exquisite. I believe he may have underst uh, understood me in the end. He must have had to chat. He must have had. He knew that fact. He must have to have shown me such a breathtaking display. <laughs> Yuka. You're my little sister. Not really. You wouldn't be un you wouldn't be so unsisterly as to feign to feign no reaction, I trust. After what I'm about to do to you, you will show me the death the dance of death I so desire, will you not? If it's agonizing, you're welcome to scream bloody murder. No need to hold back on my account. Maniacal scream. Am I moving now, or...? Oh, really? Hurry, <laughs> Chan, please save me! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's perfect. Give me more. Meanwhile, let me go up first. T -t -t Teacher, are you here? No, the fucking wall is still fucked. Okay, fine. What is this rock music? What the fuck? All right, cool, awesome. I like this music. <laughs> Oh, I was listening to that. Fuck. I'm scared. I'm scared. Why did I come back? <laughs> Why did Kishinuma let me come back? Shouldn't he have tried harder to stop me? What the hell's wrong with me? What if I die here for nothing without ever seeing any of my friends again? Well, that's your own fault, honest, to be fair, but, like, I mean, you know, you, you, you did, you did, the, you did a thing that was righteous, I guess. I'm still moving, okay. 
What's that? Oh my god, it's a student I need, need from Keystrack Academy. Someone I we know it must be nearby. I wonder whose it is. Nakashima's? No mistaking it. It's even still got the scrap of paper from the Sachiko charm. Nakashima must be really close. Nakashima, are you there? If you are, please answer. I should look for her. She can't be far. Good, good. Keep on shining for me. You're beautiful. You're stunning. Great. He's He must be like an aspiring artist or something, or he's just crazy. Try this, Yuka. Think about your favorite food, and your favorite dinner, and your favorite books, your favorite TV shows, your favorite anime, manga, we're alive! Your favorite person, your, your, whole, your, your elementary school crush or whatever, your favorite thing to wear, and remember, how does it make you feel? How does it feel to know that you'll never experience any of that ever again? Once you die, that's it. Everything stops. Everything ends. I don't think you understand how being dead works. These are final moments. Death is upon you. Ha ha. You're going to die. Mwahaha. ha ha. Are you gonna do it? Or, like... Shall we begin? It's showtime. Were you just, like, dawdling this entire time? Oh. It just beats the crap out of him. Oh, oh, wait, stop! And she gets saved by a serial killer. That's great. Are you here to save me? He snaps her neck. Um, thanks? Oh. Uh huh. You're not here to save me, are you? All right, cool. <laughs> Yuka! We're gonna continue this in the next fucking part, cause like, Jesus Christ. Also an hour. Didn't have to cut anything out, surprisingly.